we still can't find the source of the mysterious signal we've been receiving since 2018. We receive it every 22 minutes and nothing can explain this. Some scientists even believe it could be coming from another civilization we haven't met yet. This strange radio signal wasn't found by a scientist on a serious mission. It was actually discovered by a college student just doing a regular project for school. Tyrone O'Doherty, an undergrad student at Curtin University in Australia, was sifting through old data of the southern sky. He was looking for any weird blinking radio signals. He finally stumbled upon one from 2018 that seemed to shoot radio waves towards Earth like a lighthouse beam. Excited about his find, Tyrone shared it with his mentor, radio astronomer Natasha Hurley-Walker. She dove into researching this signal, hoping for a breakthrough. But despite checking different frequency data, they hit a dead end. But then, Natasha spotted a pattern. The signal repeated every 18 minutes. This was huge. But just as they were gearing up to study it further, poof, the signal vanished after only three months, leaving them with nothing. Not giving up, Natasha and her team scanned the skies again, desperate for a clue. Months passed, but nothing turned up. They were ready to give up, and then suddenly, a new signal popped up. This one kept blinking for five minutes, then it disappeared. And then it came back exactly 22 minutes later. The main question was if that signal was related to an 18-minute one. To figure it out, Natasha went back to the old radio data from that area. As they dug deeper, they realized that, yes, and these signals aren't anything new. They've been beaming towards Earth for 35 years. Back in 1988, Indian and American telescopes had caught them, but they got buried under tons of other data. This was great news for space explorers, because it meant they could now calculate how far away this mysterious object was. After doing the math, they figured out it was incredibly far, even on a space scale, 15,000 light years from Earth. Now, the only thing left to uncover was what exactly this object was. Walker and his team started comparing it to all the known radio emitting objects out there. Yet, its source remains a mystery. The signals still pop up every 22 minutes on NASA screens, always ending with a frustrating match not found message. The scientists called it J183910. Some think that the signal might come from some extraterrestrial beings. Maybe it's the signal that SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, has been waiting for. This project has been working for over 50 years, trying to find any evidence of life beyond Earth. They also scan the skies for radio waves, laser pulses, and other mysterious signals. So, maybe it's a way for extraterrestrial folk to communicate their location. While that idea may sound exciting, we need to be careful about jumping to conclusions. First, we don't have solid proof for that. Before any concrete evidence, it's just speculation. And also, there are other more plausible explanations. Most likely, it comes from a natural phenomenon, and there are a couple of theories for that. The first one is the pulsar theory. Imagine a huge star in space much bigger than our sun. Sometimes these big stars finish their life journeys in a spectacular event called a supernova. When this happens, the star's core collapses, becoming super compact as if you're squeezing all the stuff from that star into a tiny space. That tiny, super dense core is called a neutron star. Some of these neutron stars are extra special. We call them pulsars. They get their name because they seem to pulse with energy, like a space lighthouse. These pulsars have incredibly strong magnetic fields, much stronger than what you'd find on Earth. They're like enormous magnets in space. Because of this, they shoot out beams of energy. They're also spinning super fast, so these beams of energy seem to pulse on and off as they spin around. Now, the strange signal we detected seems to have similarities with pulsars, but not quite. Pulsars usually have a predictable lifespan and slow down over time. 
eventually stopping their radio signals. In contrast, our mysterious signal is quite persistent and is blinking beyond what's expected for pulsars. So, maybe it's not a typical pulsar, or not a pulsar at all. There's also a magnetar theory. Now, a magnetar is another type of neutron star. They're like supercharged versions of pulsars, with even stronger magnetic fields and slightly longer pulsating periods. Maybe this is what causes our signal's intense persistence. However, when we plotted the data, we also realized the signal didn't match the magnetar's vibes either. Magnetars not only send out radio waves, but also powerful X-rays because they're so energetic. But the signal we received was only sending out radio waves. So we figured it's not a pulsar and not a magnetar. The signal's behavior is very strange and suggests an unnatural source. This means there might be something in the universe that scientists haven't fully explored yet. And there is a space object that we don't know much about. The final theory is the so-called dwarf pulsar. Sounds a little dopey to me. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. Now, a dwarf pulsar is like a star that blinks with light flashes, similar to pulsars, but it takes longer for each blink. Usually, white dwarfs are the leftovers from smaller stars. They don't blink because their magnetic field isn't as strong as pulsars. But when a white dwarf becomes pretty hefty, almost the mass of our sun, it gets super dense and starts pulsating with a strong magnetic field, just like pulsars. They have a cool quirk. White dwarfs are made of electrons, not neutrons like pulsars. When these charged electrons start dancing with a magnetic field, they shoot out periodic light flashes, which happen every 100 to 1,000 seconds. As you remember, our signal has a period of 22 minutes. 1,320 seconds. A bit longer than the usual white dwarf pulsars, but it's much closer to the truth. So far, this sounds like the most plausible explanation. But even this theory isn't fully confirmed yet. This just shows how much there is in the universe that we're still figuring out. For example, fast radio bursts, another mysterious type of signal we've been detecting. They're like quick, intense bursts of energy in the form of radio waves. They have a ton of energy. FRBs are so powerful that sometimes they can be brighter than entire galaxies. Now, imagine this. They release as much energy in a few milliseconds as our sun does in three whole days. Wow! These bursts happen all over the sky with huge frequencies, although some have been detected with lower frequencies. Every day, we catch around 10,000 random FRBs in the sky. Some of them repeat, but most happen once and disappear forever. Unfortunately, most of them only last for a fraction of a second, and by the time their energy reaches us, it's a thousand times weaker than a mobile phone signal from the moon. This is why, despite their brightness, there's still a lot we don't understand about them. We're still trying to figure out what causes these FRBs. They could be coming from different sources, like already mentioned magnetars, colliding stars, or even merging galaxies or white dwarfs. As these bursts travel through space, they pick up information about the cosmic environments they pass through, like interstellar gas clouds. It's very unlikely that FRBs are some messages from extraterrestrial beings, though. Not only because there are thousands of them every day all across the sky, but also because we know that the sources of these bursts must be incredibly energetic themselves. Our neighbors would have to have equipment stronger than entire galaxies for that. But the bottom line is, while all these signals are fascinating, there's still a ton to learn about them. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.